So in our last video, we finally got some items into our new design. So now let's fly around and look at them from different angles. This is where we're starting from. So far, we've started a new design, and in the last video, we just dropped in a couple items being a cylinder and a sphere. So now, let's look on this top ribbon up here, and our default mode when we start up, we're looking in these different modes up here. So we can look, the first one is our sketch mode. Notice it says K behind it, and it says work on a sketch grid in 2D. The next one down is section mode. We can either click on that button or hit X on our keyboard. Notice the little X there. And the third button down is our 3D mode. And this button is where really cool stuff happens. When I click on it, it basically puts us into the 3D mode. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the ribbon up here that says Orient. And we are going to hover over the little 3D box down here at the bottom. And if we go to the side, we can see that there are a lot of different types of views here. Um, if you hover over them, it will kind of give you a preview of what each of these do. So the isometric, the top view, the bottom view, left, right, front, back, and home. All right. So let's go ahead and click on home. And that is the view that we are seeing right here. We can also click on the home button up at the very top. So this is the button that we will click to return to this exact view no matter how we go around or uh, move our orientation or zoom in and out, we can come back to this spot by hitting on the little home button. The next buttons we want to look at are the spin, pan, and zoom. So let's click on the spin button. And what that does is means that when we click on it with our left mouse button, it rotates around on the axis using that as the center point. So if I hover over this one and I click on it with my left mouse button and drag, it rotates around using that as the center point. And the pan button, when we use it and click, then when we drag, it doesn't rotate it, it just shifts it around. So this is the pan mode. So we can use this to move from side to side, right? And we can use the spin to change the direction that we're looking at it from. So we can move that around and spin and pan to see it from all different directions. And remember, if, if you feel like you're getting lost, you can come back and click on the home, and that returns you right back to that orientation right there. The last button is the zoom. If I click on that button, and then I click and drag up and down, that zooms. Now there's also very good um, mouse functions for this same uh, operation. So we can uh, click on, say, the select just to get away from that. At all times when you're running around in the software, you can use your center mouse button. And if you scroll up and down, that zooms. Okay. If you press down your center mouse button as a button, that allows you to spin. And if you shift and drag, that is your pan. So, you know, I'm always using my right hand on the mouse and my left hand is down on the lower keyboard uh, section, like what is on the overlay, so that I can always do control or shift or alt. And it's, it's all the additional features of this um, user interface for orienting the drawing, right? And remember, you know, if you get all the way zoomed in so far and you don't know where you are and you're lost and you can't figure out how you need to move because everything is, I don't know where I'm at. You just click on that little home up there and it brings you right back to that particular view. Now, if this isn't the view that I want, there is another feature. Let's say, you know, that's too close and I've got a really big drawing and I need to make it something much smaller. You can go to the view that you want to use. 
I'm going to center this real quick. So I'm going to shift and drag up. And let's say that this is the view that you want to have as your home. If you go up and click on the side arrow by the home button, you can tell it to set as home view. And that sets my current view, this, the orientation, zoom, and all of that. That sets this as my home view. Now, whenever I zoom anywhere I want to go, now if I click on my home, it puts me back into that zoom and that orientation. One other quick button that I want to show you is the, as you're zooming around and uh, moving, also if you get lost, instead of just going to the home, you can also come over to zoom and beside there is a click down and you can go to zoom extents and that won't change where you are around the outside. It will just zoom you back out so that you can see all of the objects that are in your design, right? So you know, the difference between home being here and me being, say I want to be at this angle and I zoom way in and I'm too far and I want to zoom back out to where I can see all of that's there. I can do zoom extents and that brings it out so I can see the items. All right, go back to home. Now, even if we go to one of our other modes, uh, say we go to our sketch mode and click somewhere in the drawing, um, all of the flying around and orientation, zooming in and out, all still work. Even if you get clear off screen and you don't know where you're at, you can always go back and hit the home and it'll bring you back to that same view. That also works in our um, section mode as well. We can move in and really, you know, the only difference once you're in 3D mode and you have the rest of the drawing there, the section mode just shows you the different materials that are available. Notice the hatch marks look a little bit different between these two objects. And if I switch on the sketch mode instead, it gets rid of the different types of materials. And this is where we're going to do most of our working that will be coming up in the next videos. All right. So that is it for this video. We are making progress, uh, baby steps. Now we know how to put parts in and change our view of them. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to move these parts around a little bit. So I've got to know, am I going too fast for you or too slow? Please leave me a comment and as usual, uh, like, subscribe and ring the bell so you can stay up to date with all of my future videos.